Me, a nobleman, when a bishop tells me I can just pay my sins away. Yeah, I'll pay whatever it takes to own a majority of that company. Business is booming. Does this annoy anyone else as much as me? Real ancient battles versus the TV show ancient battles. They're literally always scattered all over the place having like one-on-one -on -one fights when no. It was usually like this and honestly, this could be even more cinematic. Can you imagine the shot, the camera coming from like a horizontal angle right here? I feel like the movie 300 kind of did this. This was like the one example I can think of. Teacher, Genghis Khan has the most descendants in the world, me knowing that his father has more. Oh, this actually took me two seconds to understand, because he's like a little bit higher in the tree, and his grandfather has even more. Almost every prophet ever. B, their followers a few centuries later. B, kind, kind, to everyone, to everyone. Be kind to everyone. Oof, anyone who disagrees with me. Yes, yes, that's definitely what they meant. People from ancient Greece chatting with each other via messenger, 300 BC. Yeah, I am in people back in the day was a whole lot different. It was a bit more entertaining considering sometimes you'd get the information and the messenger would just go oof. Napoleon watching the Prussians beat the French with his own military tactics. You know that one had to hurt. How dare you use my own strategies against me? The UK and France teaming up in WW1 after hating each other for hundreds of years. And this probably only got even crazier once the USA got involved. Was that the first time the UK and the USA had allied to each other? There might have been like a minor skirmish before that, but this is probably the big one. Sir, a random guy in Italy sucked wolf nips for nutrition and went on to build a stable empire lasting hundreds of years. But if I do that to my dog, then can't stand the double standard out here. And if you think that's crazy, just wait till you find out what the country of Turkey did to a wolf. Sailors eating sauerkraut <laughs> versus sailors eating sauerkraut after Cook told them it was only for officers. Ooh, now that is tasty. Afraid to admit, I always thought sauerkraut was spelled like sour, S-O-U-R. I don't know why this is reminding me of this story about lobsters. They used to routinely be fed to prisoners, apprentices, or slaves until about like 70 years ago it became a delicacy. King Rama V, after visiting Europe and trying to make them think his country is not a backwards feudal kingdom. Thailand modernization summarized. Just build trains everywhere, that's all you gotta do. Archaeologists, when they realize that the most ancient text known to humans begins with, in those ancient times. Uh... <laughs> Now what? <laughs> yeah, kind of crazy to think that we'll probably never have any idea what happened before the Sumerians. Prussian peasants, after being told to plant potatoes on their fields. <sighs> Am I going to do this for every single one of these? Prussian peasants, after the old frizz, had his own fields planted with potatoes and his soldiers guard them. Humans are pretty funny. It's like all you have to do is pretend like something is important and then it becomes important. Romans, during bad times, the world is cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in the universe. Minutes later, people being eaten by a lions. OMG. This is literally the greatest timeline ever. No wonder everyone in 2022 is all depressed. No one's getting eaten by lions anymore. What people think a time period accurate European versus Japanese fight would be? You can't beat me with my plate of armor and longsword. Watch me, Jack A. What a time period accurate fight would actually be like. How the frick do you guys have guns? We got them from the same people you did. I don't really care what version we get. I kind of want to see both of these scenarios. You said that two presidents have been impeached, yet you refuse to go into detail about what Bill Clinton was impeached for. Seven-year-old me asks <laughs> the some children's book about US presidents why won't you tell me what Bill Clinton was impeached for I continue to ask as a seven-year-old you see when a president really likes his intern Germans in 1923 on their way to purchase basic living needs funny how often you can replace this meme format with a different country and a different year and it still works POV it's 1944 and you walked into the wrong Polish camp ah the old Polish bear I haven't seen a meme about him in a while and this dude was mr. worldwide a Syrian brown bear found in Iran, evacuated from the Soviet Union, accompanied a bulk corps to Italy, and spent the rest of his life in Scotland. Why aren't we sending bears to Ukraine right now? I wish I was like my hero, Alexander. It is done then, sir. Poof. Wait, nothing's changed. You're going to die in Mesopotamia at 32 years old. Yeah! Exactly what Emperor Julian wanted. Dude, I wish I could go back in time and oof Hilter. Me, knowing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles already did that in the 90s. Ah, uh, thank you again, Raphael, for that. Paraguay, there's nowhere to go. Surrender right now. Argentina's right. You've lost this war, says Uruguay. Are you underestimating? Salon Lopez. Salona, the great Salona Lopez never surrenders. Look, Paraguay, it's three of us against you. And Brazil doesn't look too happy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you can say that again. So it is my time for me to unleash my secret weapon. Secret weapon? I think I know how this is gonna go. All the women and children, come defend the great Lopez. OMG, that's your secret weapon, women and children? I don't feel good fighting women and children. Neither do I. 
I'll order my soldiers to retreat. Um, me too. No more attacks. I'm disappointed that I have to narrate over this because the voice acting from the video itself is so good. Great, it's all over. Right, Brazil? Br Brazil? <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, uh, demon, you picked a fight with a wrong person, punk. This is how they lose half of their male population, right? That's why it's so difficult to hit them. These kids are too... Okay, Brazil, please. Chill, Brazil. Someone, yes, Argentina, tell them to chill. It's true, Brazil. Paraguay has been decimated. I didn't even know this. I don't leave things halfway done, Argentina. I will only stop when Salon, Salono Lopez admits to, yeah, whatever. Come on, Paraguay, surrender. <laughs> This is so educational. I didn't know this aspect of this three-way war in South America. Um, oh. And they're gone. Beautiful. Please go check out this guy. His work is brilliant. Oh, and I'm sorry. It's actually reported that 90% of the male population didn't make it through that conflict. And in total, 60 to 70% of all the population in Paraguay was gone. I was already scared enough to come to Brazil. Now I'm just terrified. Humanity going from airplanes in 1903 to sending probes outside of the solar system in just a century. And you think that's just going to stop there? Wait till you see what we do for the next 100 years. Oh, crap. I took the European and Asian pills. Now I'm stuck in the Philippines. Oh no. <laughs> Pinoy pride. Pretty sure you took the American pills too there since, you know, the US had them as a colony for a little bit. Teachers figuring out how to turn an incredibly fascinating historical event into the most boring stuff you've ever heard. This really depresses me because clearly there is a lot of interest out there for history and yet the education system still tries to figure out a way to mess that up. To be fair, I don't think it's the teacher's fault. A lot of the times they're like on strict guidelines. A massive Ottoman army is besieging Vienna. Your troops are outnumbered and the walls are barely prepared for defense. It's been two months and the city is on the brink of collapse. Finally, the Holy League arrives and defeats the Ottomans. I can literally hear the Sabaton song playing in my head right now. We said, no, horny Zeus. Then there's Homer who has no idea what to do now since that's pretty much like the origin story of half his characters. You bonk Zeus into jail and the whole mythology just collapses. You're a Spaniard. You do dumb things like commit cleansing. I don't cleanse ethnicities. I make them. Don't forget to purchase all the new DLC ethnicities like Argentinian and Mexican. Speaking of bonking, we probably could have imprisoned that entire country. Ah uh, yes, Greek faith versus Roman faith. The uh, Romans here kind of just, you know, did exactly what they saw. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You versus the historically accurate reconstruction she told you not to worry about. That's right, King. Never drop your crown. Or, I don't... No, did Viking kings wear crowns? Never drop your long ship. I'm trying to think of something accurate to the time for these people. Be a good leader or be a good father, Russian czars be like. Hmm, now that is a tough one. Gotta choose one. Humans going from stone weapons to metal weapons to nuclear bombs. Literally in the last, like, what, thousand years, two thousand years? Three thousand? I don't know. It's still really fast considering we've been around for like a hundred thousand or more. I don't know. OMG, this monument is a great piece of art by the Romans. Lol, the aliens clearly built it. It couldn't have been by the humans. I think what throws people off is that it was made 5,000 years ago versus the Colosseum's like 2,000. That one Phoenician guy who stepped on a snail and discovered the color purple. Is that really how this Phoenician guy figured out purple? Man, they love purple. This must have been the origin story of lean as well. British watching movies seeing that people in other galaxies speak English due to their dominance in the colonial period. It'll literally never go away. They'll always have this dub on us. The Aztecs when they sacrifice a baby for nothing to happen. What did he say? The mighty sun. No, the Aztec high priest is definitely going to be able to block that cannonball that's flying right at his head now. POV, you are in the eastern part of Germany during the 20th century. Literally the most parkour you could ever do in government ideology. Monarchy, democracy, fascism, communism, democracy a second time. These guys have experienced it all. You guys always act like you're better than me. What is this, like a long sword, a uh, pirate sword, an axe? Is this, this is a katana? According to this guy, traditional Traditionally forged katanas can break if two of them clashed, whereas axes can be thrown, swords and maces pierce armor, sabers are light. Are you gonna finish that? The 8,000 pounds of black powder buried by the Federals under the Confederate trenches at Petersburg. So glad that we got this exact recreation of the entire event. You could really tell that they just were not ready for it, the South wasn't. Europeans between 1500 and 1920, when they find out there's a whole two and a half continents of people with neither gunpowder nor steel. This is exactly how they go to their hat.
happy place. What is the two and a half continents of people? This is a weird one. Are you counting all of America as one continent and then Australia, whatever, slash Oceania as the second? They knew about Africa, so I, what are they talking about? Initially, I thought, okay, North America and South America, but then why would they split Australia in half? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that's confused about all this. Uh, they meant like Southern Africa, the Americas, Oceania. George Washington seeing the USA form political parties after he literally told them not to do that. <laughs> He's probably looking down on us like I told you so. Why aren't grenades designed like these anymore? They have some definite advantages over what is commonly used today. And they seem practical in terms of ergonomics. Hmm, well, doesn't roll, can throw further, can stick into the ground if necessary, can give you pleasure. Can anyone explain to me why these are outdated? There's something so satisfying about throwing a stick instead of like a ball. Especially with weight at the end of the stick because you can get that thing to just... <laughs> guessing they don't use this design anymore because it's kind of harder to store. Chinese people, when they leave their house and see the old emperor sweeping the streets, like, wait a second, this doesn't feel right. And I guess the last Chinese emperor really did this. He was a street sweeper. Texans, Texas is the only U.S. state that was its own country first. Hawaii be like, oh, I never thought about that. This is really the first time it's ever dawned on me before. Where's Hawaii's clause about going out and maybe being independent, even if that is just a myth that Texas has? POV, it's 50. 1515 AD, Islamic scientific progress being hit by forcing these people to make printers haram because he read a printed book he didn't like. And there's the Ottomans. This little maneuver is going to cost us 300 years. I'm sure that will not have any big impact on the Ottomans. Not at all. Hungarian store owners in 1946 after selling one slice of bread. Where's the Italians? I don't know why they would say that. I just, I just wanted to say the Joker line here. Maybe they would. I don't know. They're kind of close to Italy. Oppressive czar government looking at the Russian people. Oh, wait, the Russian Revolution happened. Oppressive Bolshevik government. Oh, okay, I guess not that many things are gonna change. The sanity of cartographers during the scramble for Africa. This was the 19th century. Luckily, they got rid of the Holy Roman Empire since Germany was gonna form one giant thing for a little bit, but the chaos of the constantly changing African borders probably would get them to do this as well. German scientists trying to appease Hilter's increasingly unrealistic demand for super weapons. Wait, 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 so you want us to find the Holy Grail? It's not necessarily what you're talking about here. I just wanted to mention that. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip R.F. Orton 5610. Drew's Argentinian Alex Whitley Grandpa. Alex Whitley's Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Fat Norwal. Norwal After Hours. Barnes Bring CW. Back Canadian Ball. Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover. Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Bloor. And Mimoshiki.